Sanchez, the G, man. What's good with you, homie? How you feeling, bro? <clears throat> what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dog. It's 5150, man. And we back on Farm Simulator 19. About to get us some firming in. Some more farming. You were sick. Ah, oh, man, what you do? Catch the Rona? Oh, man. Well, I hope you're doing. I hope you're doing better, bro. Can't be getting sick around these times, man. <laughs> Let's check this mod hub. See if they got anything nice to play with. No updates. They don't never come out with nothing during the weekend. And this Baylor update, for some reason, it will not update for me. I don't know why. I keep hitting update and it act like it's going to update, but then it keeps saying pending. I got it in the game, though. I just went to the uh, mod hub and downloaded it offline. But every time it load up it just keep going right back to pending <clears throat> I don't know what that's about but I ain't got to download nothing Nah, it won't uh it won't update is what I'm saying. Like you see how I just clicked on uh see how I just clicked on uh I clicked on it and I updated it, but it just kept going to pending. Even if I restart the game, like it'll just like pretty much stop the download and it won't it just won't download. Ducky's gaming man, what's good with you boy? Where you been at, man? Y'all please don't forget to smash that like button for your homie, man. Not a demand, just a simple request. If you don't mind, man. <clears throat> yeah, it is it is a bug. Like it, it happens every now and then with certain mods. Like it's usually always something that's attached to something else. But it might not be downloading because like I might have like some mod conflict or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think there's nothing on my end. I, I don't think. Uh, I'm getting ready to. I'm gonna set up a uh, a multiplayer server. I'm gonna set up a uh, another server here. Probably. I don't know. Sometime next week. I'm supposed to go buy me a. Uh, I'm about to go look for a, a, a um, computer monitor so I can stop playing on this TV so I can get the graphics that I'm supposed to have. Well, I mean, like I said, my graphics on this TV, this is a 4K TV, but it don't really, uh, like, it's not really good for PC. Uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's cool. Like I said, I can run stuff on Mac settings, but... <clears throat> Like the refresh rate, the refresh rate of the TV is only 60 frames per second, which 
is really technically only good for uh, TV and uh, you know watching TV movies watching TV movies and stuff like that and like I said you can play computers on the, on TVs but it's not really been it's not going to benefit you none unless you got like one of those uh those cute LED TVs if you got one of them then you straight but computers are supposed to run on uh computer monitors no questions asked and I wish I would have thought about that before I went out and spent $800 on TVs I could have spent $800 and got like a 30, 40 inch monitor at 144 hertz. And hell, one of the TVs, one of the TVs, that I bought a uh, 55 inch first. I ended up, uh, my microphone ended up crashing into that one. My microphone ended up crashing into that one and, uh, and breaking the screen, so I had to go out and buy another one. I bought a 40 inch. The, 50, the 55 inch I paid about $300 for. I got it on sale. Well, it wasn't on sale, but uh, I got it at a good price. And uh, then I paid like four hundred dollars for the forty inch because I bought it from Best Buy, like a dumbass. Yeah, if you can afford buying electronics and stuff from Best Buy, man, do it. Unless you buy it online. If you buy it online, you might get it at a cool price, but. You go in the store, but they're gonna rip your head off. You say, "Do I got dick?" Yeah, I got this for but I ain't. I don't have it up right now, though. Uh, we getting we taking the case back this is the last contract the last plowing contract <clears throat> there's still more plowing contracts out there but this is the last plowing contract that I'm gonna do I still gotta plow my own field I probably uh I probably turn my uh Discord on in a second. It might be it might be on. I'm just probably not in it.
last contract, last prime contract, and then we, uh, I'm gonna go cash out for the uh, contracts that we did. And I still need to get up my bills. I got a whole heap of bills that I need to get up. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing today. And uh, I don't know whether or not if I wanna store them. Well, I mean, I'm gonna store some. I'm not gonna, because it's a lot of bills. But uh, I'm probably gonna end up selling some of the silage bills. Maybe. But like I said, it all it all depends. It all depends on how broke I get trying to do this. Out of gas. Ah. I was hoping that I would make. I would. I was hoping I would get done with this field, and it ran out right. see if this contract if they let me get done get by with just doing that oh it's completed i ain't even gonna worry about it we're gonna leave the case uh we can't even i was gonna pull it up to the what's the name i don't know if i got any uh gas on my semi truck i don't think i do though <coughs> Yeah. Sell some for money. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Like if I uh if I end up getting too broke, you just have to sell some and go back out and do some more contracts. I'm gonna end up having to do some more contracts anyway, cause the money that I'm finna get for these contracts uh, is probably at the most I think it's like sixty thousand or something like that, maybe a little more. And I think I already have I already collected yeah, I got twenty five thousand right now. So sixty thousand is you know, I'm probably gonna end up with like hundred and eighty thousand or something like that. Yeah, we ain't got no gas on here. So what we gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pack up. I want to go, I want to drive out there and see if I can like bag up, see if I can bag the trailer up under it. I don't think that's going to work, but I'm about to try it. Oops. Gotta stay out for other people's fields, man. try to drive up try to see if I can pull the trailer up under it and then lock it in real quick and then see if it'll just let me uh, like pretty much drag it because I do not feel like going all the way back to the house
is almost working. Worth the try. They do got a tow bar in my They do they do got a tow bar in my but I don't think I got it in the game. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think I know I ain't got that thing in there. Cause I've been trying to cut back on mods that I got in the game that I don't really use. Cause most of the time when I go into my hub. I just go in there looking to see what all they got, and if they got something new, I just download it, and most of the time, I don't even play with it. <laughs> I just download it because it's new just in case, you know. So I ain't got to do so I ain't gotta do what I'm probably about to do right now, which is go back into the My Hub and download something just to use it in the game. Like, that's why I always just download, try to download everything I need, but that, po that poses its own problems most of the time because... You um, you end up having all type of stuff. You end up having all type of stuff inside your mind folder, and you don't know what could be causing conflict, and you got to go through there and take all of the mods out and put them in one by one, and yeah, yeah. Well, I definitely, I definitely don't have that tow, uh, that tow mod in. Oh well, so I guess we're gonna, end, we're gonna have to come back. I can just send it back. I'm gonna have them come out here and get it. <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna do. It ain't mine. It's a beast. <clears throat> Tell them to go ahead and come out here and get it. Yep. Yep, this is what's been costing me so much money. Get the hell out of here. I want to keep the plow because the plow really not that much money, but that bad boy got to go. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> so called the people told him come pick up they pile of junk.
I ain't played. I ain't played on this map. I've been uh playing on uh. uh what's that dude's name? Millennial Farmer. I've been playing on his map for the last couple of days, man. I'm probably gonna uh drop a video. I'm probably gonna drop a video. Um, I don't know. Whenever I decide to sit down and edit it, but I've been working on the. Uh, Working on some videos to try to switch it up a little bit. Ohio map that's coming. Are you talking about uh, what is it, Mercer County or what is, which one is it? got a chance to check out his uh well i did check it out i played it but i was supposed to stream it but i was a little i was a little sorry at last i can't even lie because uh i thought he was gonna like let me test his uh i thought he was gonna let me test his map out man i mean you know he's busy i don't blame him for it but i was just like man you know because it was just looking so delicious man i was like man i want to test that man. play on it bro. He said he was gonna let me. He said he was gonna let me test it, but he never. Uh, he never got back to me. He's still my homie, though. Man, that's what's up, man. I'm gonna have to hit him up on Facebook. I'm gonna have to hit him up on Facebook, man, and see exactly what he's doing with that. Sweet home. Yeah, he made good maps, man. He had another map, uh that's how it ended up that's how I ended up meeting uh Nancy Boy for real. I was playing on one of his maps and he uh, he ended up coming to my stream. Yeah, man, he used to watch me play on his map for 
a while. I think that was like back in Farm Sim 17, I believe. And I think it was Farm Sim 17. Let's go on up in here and uh, cash out on these loans real quick. Or cash out on these. Um, on these contracts. Stone Valley. Yeah, I like Stone Valley too. Can y'all let me know what the stream is looking like for y'all? Somebody. Somebody. Anybody. Go up here to the old laptopper. <laughs> Sit down at the old laptop. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so we got eight thousand. I take that. Eight thousand, fourteen thousand. 13,000, 10, 2, 11, 13, 5, 7, for a whopping, we ended up with $114,000, woohoo, which is all about to <laughs> get spent, and it's probably going to get spent on one, on one item. Cause you know, one hundred and fourteen thousand dollars don't really go far in this game, unless you're buying something, some like something small. Okay, so, and I can't afford to really buy nothing small. Cause look at all these bills, man. Look at all these bills. I don't even know why I did this to myself. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't know why I did this to myself. Oh, well. Let's go on up here and see. Let's go up here and see what they, uh, see what they got. See what they got for us. We need a bill stacker. Man, see, look at these. The ones, the big, the bigger ones, the ones that I probably need that'll get the job done faster. Seventy, eighty thousand dollars, man. Jeez. <laughs> I think I downloaded a uh a Ursus. Uh, uh yeah. And see the, even these bad boys is expensive, but they a lot cheaper than the other ones. So we're gonna try to go with this Ursus Plus and hold at least twelve bills. I think that's gonna stack them bit ah oh, nah. See I don't like these ah man. I don't like these uh bill trailers. Cause like when they let the bills, when they let the bills go, they kind of like jerk them. So they, sometimes they fall over. Ooh, do I want to do this? I don't think I got a choice.
Say auto stack. Yeah, you know me. You know me, Sanchez, man. I'm a I'm a I'm a professional, man. I do more than a professional, bro. Like you know me, bro. I got to I got to do everything the hard way. <laughs> All right, let's buy this uh, Baylor. I wanted to get another tractor, but I can't afford it. So let's go ahead and buy this bill stacker. Okay, dookie, one bill stacker. We got sixty-nine thousand dollars left. Uh, sixty-nine thousand. Mm. Do 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 do. All right, let's try to work with it. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to buy some cows, but I'm not going to even think about buying no animals because it ain't going to do nothing but cost me money. Because I still don't have no hay. It's not harvest season. It ain't harvest season yet. So don't nobody got nothing, nothing that I can use. And if I want to get, if I want to have a chance at getting any money, I'm gonna have to make some money because I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get a uh, a cedar, and I still gotta plow up this, I still gotta plow this up. I was gonna leave it all grass, but I better use, I better use everything I got. <laughs> I better use all of the land that I got because all of this from down there by the house all the way to right here is all my land all the way back there to the trees and so once I get this grass cut I'm gonna uh, come back and cut this part of the grass oh shoot it ran the stop sign but uh, I'm gonna come back and cut that part of the grass and turn it into hay But I was trying to wait for a dry, uh, a couple of dry days, so it'll turn into hay faster. Man, y'all don't forget to smash that like button for your homie, man. If y'all don't mind, if you don't mind. Alright, there she, there she be. Oh, I got some gas tanks right there. I need to bring the pickup truck up here. I didn't know. I forgot the bought those. Come up here and steal one of these auger wagons. <laughs> Let's go stack some bills. Still got a whole decent amount of grass right here to cut. That should get us a, a decent amount of hay. Cause all these is grass bales. I don't even know. I'm gonna probably have to come back out here and wrap some of those because 
you can't I can't sell them. You can't sell the grass bales. Well, I don't know. You might be able to sell the grass bales. I think you just can't sell loose grass. I think. Okay, I'm not sure which one it is. Four more bears. I think it said it held. I think it held twelve. Definitely finna be a lot of stacking. Just hope I can fit these in front of this. Because I think this thing a little bit too tall for this. But we're about to find out. <laughs> I just bought this shit. Alright, we gotta abort. Uh, I forgot the button for abort. Unload. Alright, 
cool. Alright, so it looked like we're gonna probably have to just stack these on the outside. <laughs> end up putting them in there manually which I didn't want to have to do <laughs> nah it ain't just you man hey man I'd rather I guess I'd rather six quiet people watch than zero no people <laughs> Trying to. Germany G in the building, man. What's good with you, my G? How you feeling, bro? Alright. Now let's hope let's hope that these bells don't do the Watusi when we release them. See that? See how they do that little Watusi when you, and then when you Oh, look, look. Boy, that was sketchy. And they're going to fall down anyway. Like, I ain't got to do nothing to them. They're going to fall down anyway. All right, yeah, I see. I was there. <laughs> I was there. Yeah, man, uh, uh, Germany, yeah, man, I, uh, usually, early in the mornings, I usually, um, cause I sleep during the day, you know what I mean, like, so, like, usually early in the morning, I'll be just, like, winding down, like, when you usually start streaming, like, you surprised me today, cause I normally, I normally don't see you streaming until, like, early in the morning, like, eight or nine o'clock for me. Or at probably like 10 somewhere no you know no later than like 10 8 9 10 or something like that and so uh like i'll be winding down so what i'll do is i'll be sitting here like playing my video game and i'll have you i'll have you over here on the other monitor and most of the time bro i ain't gonna lie like most of the time your stream plays all the way out like you know what i'm saying until Oh shoot, oh shoot, what's going on? We got we get a bad collision. Uh most of the time uh your stream plays all the way out. And I'm talking about like that's like a daily routine. Like, you know, I get up, I mean I get up, but when I get done streaming, I sit there and I flick through YouTube and then you know when the daytime comes, I'll start, you know, looking to see who's live. And whoever's live, like I'll have like three different lives pulled up on my uh on my TV, and I'll just you know be sitting there listening to them, like listening to everybody. I it really it sound crazy. I don't even know how I do it because I'll have like three streams playing, listening to four or five of them, and eventually have to mute it because somebody will end up saying something like, you know, you like you. Somebody always be like, uh, is anybody still there? And you know what I'm saying. Like usually I'll be like, yeah, me. Sometimes I don't, you know what I'm saying, whenever I don't say nothing, it's usually because I'm playing my game like now, and I will have to alt out of this. Every time I try to get on my other TV, like, because I can watch you on the other TV, but I can't click on it. But on Farm Sim, on all my other games, I can click off of, I can tab out, and the game will still be on, and I can do whatever I need to do on my other screen. But for Farm Sim, whenever I tab out, it takes the whole screen to the desktop and so normally like if I don't say nothing when you be talking it's usually because I'm playing farm sim and I'm not finna keep tabbing you know in and out <laughs> in and out of the uh, the game because it's a pain in the ass yeah man it's a I think it's a routine for most uh for most people who uh like you know I want to say small you know like me you like people like us like i think most people get into that routine because you know you end up streaming and then you want to go through and watch you know what i'm saying streams to try to show other people support or maybe you know you just looking for ideas i know when i first started streaming i was mainly looking for ideas but then when i found out that you know everybody kind of do their own thing 
I just started doing my own thing. And I really, like I said, I watch your channel for real, for real, because, like, I'm a, it be making me want to get a PlayStation 4 and come and farm with you. Well, I got a PlayStation 4. What the fuck am I talking about? But uh, it be making me want to go get farm sim and come and farm with you because you don't really find a lot of people who do realistic farming. And it's you and it's a couple other people that, you know what I'm saying, that I notice. Like, like I said, I sit there and watch those channels all day, every day. Just because, like I said, it's something. You when know, people be realistic farming, you know what I'm saying, and doing everything on their own, I think that it'll make a good, you know what I'm saying, like a good live stream. Or, you know, a good role play video or whatever. Oh, shoot, I wonder why. I'm tripping. So, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know, I, I like to keep it a little realistic, too, you know, as far as the game limits, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes the game just don't allow you to do certain stuff realistic. You know what I mean? But, yeah, man, like I said, I just... I just enjoy, I just enjoy watching the realistic, you know, sometimes y'all be talking about a little different, different shit that be funny, you know, so, yeah, dog, that's what I be doing, alright, let's see if we can get this bell, <laughs> I just want to get right up next to it. I only want to try to stack it in front of it. Yeah, I know mouse 22. Yeah. Yeah, I know mouse down. That's my, that's my homie. goes nothing see look 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 oh boy this thing is sketch e yeah I think I'm on uh I think I'm gonna go and get the smaller, uh, the smaller belly. Cause stacking them bells up there like that is just gonna, it's just gonna cause a mess. I can see it now. <laughs> I can see, I get, I can visualize it right now. Like it's just gonna cause a big mess. That I don't want to have to clean up. The good news is, is that we like ten percent done. <laughs> ten percent is a lot, man. Oh, most definitely, man. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah, man. Because, like I said, I, I don't know. Like, for some reason, I know I'm not. I be thinking I be tripping because I be like, man, you know. I feel like in my head that if I went to play, if I went and bought Farm Sim for console, even though I'll be able to play with, like, all of, you know, all of my people and all that stuff, I feel like that it's, like, a big downgrade. Like, and I just can't wrap my head around that. That's why I never bought Farm Sim. It ain't because I can't afford it. I would have been bought Farm Sim and been playing with y'all. It's just, I don't want to get too into it playing with all of my friends because then I won't play my PC. Like, and I ain't going to lie. Like, 
If I have too much fun in one place, man, I'll forget all about the other place. <laughs> And shit, I spent I spent a pretty penny on this computer, man. I can't just have it just sitting around collecting dust. Whether if I'm making money with it or just burning it the hell up, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do something with it. It ain't just it ain't just finna sit there. I was telling somebody else like on console the one difference between console and PC is console has a way better community than PC will ever have PC you have to build a community like and you really have to build it and it's like built on like this longevity friendship relationship type of thing you know when you playing on console it's like I woke up today ready to play you woke up today ready to play let's play ain't nothing else to talk about you know you usually wake up like you wake up turn your game on you be like oh such and such online you be to hit him up in voice chat or video chat or something i mean the uh live chat or whatever you call that shit on ps4 they hit him up like man what you doing man i see you over there on such and such and such, and such. yeah and y'all just get down on pc you got to you got to know people <laughs> you gotta know people <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it all, it all pans out. You going back? You all right? Okay, I love you. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you see, <laughs> look at you. Talk about, don't talk about the Brendan no more. But uh, yeah, just I mean, if you if you can, just call me whenever you get ready to look, so I can like we can look together. All right. So we ain't touching. Man, that was good. That was pretty good. Actually, I actually can go back just a tad bit more, to be honest. Just to work it all the way in. Yeah, that's good right there. Alright, let's see what happens. Ooh, perfect. Damn that boy, good. Damn, my wife smells good. I just had one of them moments, Jack. <laughs> you gotta coordinate more on PC. Yeah, I think it's just because it's a lot more, like it gives you, like PC got a lot more stuff that you can you know role play with and you know what i mean and do like you know console up until farm sim 19 console pretty much was playing with standard equipment like you know what i mean just in-game equipment well no i should say 17 because i think that's when they came up with the whole mod hood thing and all that but still they didn't they still didn't have the same mods as pc had and so like when I think when you playing on PC, like you said, you gotta you gotta coordinate a little bit better. 
you know the realism you know the realism is a lot stronger you got to think about it too like a lot of people got like wheels and pedals when they playing on PC so the realism can get you know a little bit live and if you playing on console most of the time like most people that I know that got console they don't even have wheels. they don't even have steering wheels most of the people that I know cuz they don't play drive you know a lot of people don't play consoles to play driving games a lot of people play consoles to play shit like Fortnite and Call of Duty and you know all them other games that I don't fucking play. <laughs> and that's another reason why I stopped playing console because console is too much. I, it's it's competition on console. And every, I don't care what game, man, you, you do. Like, it's always about competition. Man, I'll, man, I'll murk you in Call of Duty. So what? Like, fuck, who care? Like, like, bro, get over it, my G. Like, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people out there. And, I mean, I ain't tripping on nobody and nothing like that. I'm just saying I'm pretty sure there's plenty, plenty of people out there that's way better than me at that game that you, you know, should be out there murking. And you talking about killing somebody that don't even play the game. Like, come on, man. You lame. You just, you just lame. And that makes the game lame. <laughs> In my opinion. I'll never forget the time. I'll never forget when I stopped playing, uh, like, uh, war games, comp competition war games. Is when, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you playing a game and somebody is, like, you know, really feeling themselves because they might have got a kill or, you know, and somebody be like, you know, boy, ooh, Oh boy, I shot him. Oh boy, I got you. Ah, yeah, boy, you whack, man. You whack. Oh boy, I can't. Oh, you can't do nothing with me, man. Now here it is. This nigga saying he's saying all this, he running his mouth. Oh man, I killed you. This, I killed you. That. Now I ain't said not one word to him. I'm actually, I was telling him like, man, you good at this. But no matter what I said to him, no matter how nice I was, it did not stop him from, like antagonizing the shit out of me just because he killed me a few times you know what I mean like and I just never got like I never got over that man like I wasn't sorry at him or nothing like I was just playing the game I didn't even want to play the game actually I was just playing it playing it because he asked me to play and I didn't want to be no bad company like nah man I don't play that because that's usually what I tell people I'd be like man if I don't play it I just don't play it and people be like, oh, man, come on, man, come on, man, play with me real quick, man. Shit, it ain't that hard, man. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Come on, man, man. And then as soon as you sit down to play, they talk. I'm talking about, man, they play you like they playing in a tournament. <laughs> and so I just stopped. I just stopped playing competition games all together. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, like I said, it ain't even that I suck at the games. Like, I'm actually good at uh, shooting shooter games. Like, Grand Theft Auto? Like, man, I'll, man, I'll roast somebody on Grand Theft Auto. It's just I get killed a lot in Call of Duty. I get killed a lot in Call of Duty because I don't play Call of Duty. And when Call of Duty first came out, like, I wasn't the first person to, like, go try to rush and get it. So by the time I had buckled down to buy Call of Duty... It was already out, and everybody, oh, shoot. See, look at that. It was already out, so everybody already knew all of the boards, except for me.
So I'm going for I can feel it. Even though I'm not touching not near one of these bells, something is going to fall. I'm going to scoot up just a little bit. Just a, just a hair. Before I let these off. Ooh, maybe not. Boy, these bells are scary. <laughs> Come on, let it loose on me. Six in the build, man. What's good with you, my G? How you feeling, man? Six, that's another here, another uh like role playing realistic farmer, man, that play on uh I don't know, six do you play on I think you play on I think six play on PC. I don't know. No, do you play on console? I don't know. I think you play on both. Burning weights in the build, man. What you waiting for, boy? Where you been at? Burning in the build. Ah, oh, man. What you done did, Vernon? Night by trying to take you out on a date early, man. You just got here. Ah, oh, man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, Six. I'm chilling, man. Y'all make sure y'all go through the chat, man, and hit that like button and that subscribe button for people in the chat. I mean, you know, you ain't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to hit my like button, but, you know, at least go through somebody else's, go through some of these other YouTubers' channels, man, and check them out, show them some support. You might not like what you see here, but you might like, you might like what you see over there. You never know. But even if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying, always show your support. You never know when you might need the support from somebody else. Some people be out there trying to grow their channel and they don't wanna they don't wanna support, you know, anybody else's channel and they'll, you know, be wondering like, oh man, why my channel not doing so good? It's cause you know you got to sometimes you got to show a little bit of support. I grew my channel off of support. And, you know, like I said, that's, you know, going back and digressing a little bit. Like, that's what I was, what I be saying about my channel not growing a lot of times, you know, and other people's channels growing. You know, some people start YouTube for different, you know, like for different causes. Like, some people, like, want to make a career out of YouTube. Some people just like, you know, making content. Some people just like to stream because they like to talk to people and, you know, and, and associate socialize with people it's all different you know what i'm saying all different reasons but like i didn't stream to make youtube my uh my career or nothing like that i didn't start streaming for none of that stuff i didn't stream because i felt like i was good at it i didn't stream because i felt like you know i was gonna try to outdo somebody or be better than somebody or none of that i started streaming because when i first seen people live streaming video games for the first time and they was trust me they was live streaming video games for a long time before i found out i just thought it was something cool to do and you know meanwhile while i was thinking that it was something cool to do there's a lot of people you know like getting on youtube and like you know making occupations out of it which you know in turn basically makes people like my channel you know kind of obsolete for real for real because people don't really want to watch if it's like free and it's nothing you know attached to it like it's nothing that you're selling them it's nothing that you know like that you're doing to 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 make a magnet between you and the people that's watching they really don't care about your shit you know what i mean and that's kind of how like youtube think too like youtube is like you know oh well if you ain't out there selling yourself you know we ain't finna promote you like we ain't gonna promote your channel if you ain't out there selling yourself and doing this and doing that you know what i mean and whatever else you can do and like a, a lot of people uh, a lot of people are branding and people don't understand you know like well how are they making so much money doing x y and z i'm playing my game don't nobody donate to my channel and you know like i said when you're selling stuff people want to be a part of stuff they want to be a part of whatever it is that you know what i'm saying that's popping what they call trending and i'm not a trender i'm not a trender like i don't care what the hell people doing like i'll still be playing farm sim if they don't come out with another farm sim i'll still be playing farm sim 19 and night in 20 
30, goddammit. <laughs> you know why? Because I bought the game, and I can. And ain't nobody gonna tell me that I can't. <laughs> so I don't care if it's trending or not. I don't follow nobody. I don't follow, you know, nobody's rule of life or, you know, what they think people should be doing and what they ain't doing. Do what the hell you want to do. It's your life. Like, what am I going to sit here trying to keep up with people for, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're going to get left behind? Man, so what? Oh, man, I had more bills to pick up. I ain't even know it was two bills. I'm sitting here running my damn mouth. That's why I be quiet, man. I don't be saying shit because I, I be so deep in my conversation. I be forgetting all type of shit. I know I smoke a lot. I can't be multitasking. <laughs> Man. That was a two that was two bells short and it almost still fell over. Let me let this down. I started to make content for my grandkids and wife to see when I'm ah see look that's a that's a that's interesting you know what you know what six I'm gonna have to cop I'm gonna have to copy you on that one bro I'm gonna have to copy you just a little just a little bit on that one man cuz once I started YouTubing and I thought about it, you know, like once I started YouTubing and I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm like I said, I'm not a YouTuber. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm a, I am am a YouTuber, but I'm not a YouTuber, like, you know, that make money and all this other stuff. So I just figured, you know, later on in life, you know how people, you know, they got, uh, you know american history and you know shit like that and i'm not saying like that this is a historical moment playing farm sim or nothing like that but you know if the internet stretches you know what i'm saying like throughout life the way is that it's been going you know what i mean like if they if somebody keeps your channel relevant or whatever or not you know what i mean like you could you know you could inspire somebody later on in life you you never know you never know. Somebody can be watching this shit in 2060. Like, man, you know, like, that's crazy that they was doing that back then. Look at what, you know, look at what the world came to now. And they using you as, like, you know, case studies about, like, because, you know, like, I get on here and I spread my, I speak my mind about a lot of stuff. So it's like, you know, you never know, man, if YouTube be popping or, you know, because, hey. You might not be you might not be a celebrity to everybody in the world, you know what I'm saying? But you damn sure. Like I got cousin, I got a cousin, you know what I'm saying? That that watch me. Like he more like a nephew to me though. Like I like, like I love dude, man. That's a tough ass little dude, man. But uh, you know he watch my channel and you know like matter of fact, it's my cousin. He always come through. Y'all see him. He'll donate. Like you know he'll shoot me a dollar or two or whatever. Like that's my little cousin and like you know. Like you know what I'm saying, like he think I'm, he he think I'm cool, you know what I'm saying, and I am I, I I am cool. I mean, he thought I was cool before I started fucking YouTube, and but you know he think it's cool that I do YouTube, and you know he want to grow his channel, you know what I mean. So it's inspiring to certain, you know what I mean. Like it might not be inspiring to everybody, but you never know who you might inspire. Like I didn't talk to kids on here. I didn't talk to kids on here. That's like, oh man, you know what I'm saying. Like I wanna. I want to uh, build a computer like yours. Or, you know, I ain't never heard nobody say they want to be like me. <laughs> I tell them anyway if they ever said some shit like that. Like, boy, watch your mouth. You know, don't need that. Don't need to be no more me. It's only one of me, then. You couldn't imitate. You couldn't imitate me if you glued yourself to me. You hear me? I say, I say, I say, do you hear me? I say, you couldn't imitate me if you glued yourself to me. <laughs> yeah, I just made that one up. I did. It, wasn't, it ain't the best one in the world, but you know. It got, <laughs> you know what the hell I'm talking about. You know what I mean.
It's only one of me. And I will I'll perform it before I got sick. So let's, let's get myself out there and meet people. Yeah, you know what? Cause six, you a funny, you a funny ass dude, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. You be saying you got some good, you got some good one-liners over there, bro. I always wondered that, cause I'm like, you know, a lot of, you know, some people. I don't know. You just you got like, you got a funny, yeah, you got a, a a funny entertainer voice though. Like I don't know, it's something about it. Like maybe you can like be. I can picture you on a talk show, on a radio show. <laughs> But that's like a lot of people, a lot of people out here, uh, like DJ Goham, uh, for instance, like he a DJ. So, you know what I'm saying? Like he already got like, you know, I mean, you know, his voice sound a little weird to me, but you know, he a DJ. So he already hyped up. He already excited. You know what I'm saying? So he already ready to be like, what's up everybody? Hey, we're going to be going over here to get and then next week we're gonna have those. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, like they can do stuff like that, man. You know, shit like that. I can't like, you know, I got a nice, a nice voice, but it's for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? And there ain't really a whole lot of ladies coming through here to watch no damn crime scene. <laughs> You know how they be. Come on, Germany, man. You know how they, you know how them YouTubers be, man. Like they be over, they be way over the top. But I mean, it gets some views. It get them views, and you know what I'm saying. Like, and it gets some, you know, it get them money or whatever, you know. So I can't even. I don't even be knocking them, like for real, for real. Like, do your thing, you know. But I, like I said, my point is, is that I'm not about to hear them doing that. And next thing you know, you're going to hear me tomorrow like, what's up, everybody? It's Dog is 5150. And we're going to be out here driving around in the John Deere tractor. 730, 720. I don't know what kind of tractor it is, but I just know it's green. And we're going to get out here and pick up these bells. So with all that said, let's, with all that said and done, without more further ado or whatever the fuck else they be saying, let's go ahead and get on with the show. And then they just clip it and then they come back in like and we're right back everybody we're out here and they and now they 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 harvesting and and they got a whole mouth full of shit to say you know what I mean? <laughs> i'm just not that type of you know i ain't that type of dude <laughs> But yeah, you know, it's different. It's different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean? If that's the type of stuff that sells, you know what I mean? Like I said, let them do it. Like I ain't about to. I'm sorry. Like I ain't about to do. I don't think it's. I don't think it take all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I really, I really just don't think that it takes all that. But you know, that's. I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of YouTubers are trying to keep the integrity of YouTube. You know what I mean? Like right now. Like, you know, I would say probably in the last two years, that's what all of those changes about YouTube was, you know, as far as, you know, the uh, the Copa, you know, you know, but that has something to do with like kids and, you know, shit like that. And, you know, what people was doing as far as basically selling kids information and all that. But I'm just saying, like, that's what it was really all about. You know what I mean? Like when they kept changing the, uh, the criteria for you to get uh, monetized and all that. They trying to save the integrity of, of YouTube. So they don't want people like me or people like like uh, uh, Germany, like people like you, Six Willing. They don't want people like us just going out there and putting content out and, you know, potentially making money off of it because that's not what it's about. They want you to be somebody that's like, Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man Dog is 5150. And we're gonna be out here on Seneca County today, gonna be out here picking up these bells. Bought me a new bell stacker. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just drop that bell stagger down just like that up oh, up oh, oh, we're on the top of it yep we got it we picked it up on to the next one so how's everyone doing out there oh we got c dub in the building Curtis Whitaker, i like to thank you for coming out, my man. I really, really do appreciate it. Don't forget to smash that like button on before you leave. And make sure you get by the chat, man, and hit that like button, that subscribe button for somebody that you don't know. <laughs> I always got to show your support. <laughs> yeah, so we're picking up bill number two here. Now we have two bills on the back of the trailer. Two. It's kind of like Count Dracula, you know, one, two. <laughs> Now we getting three bills on the back of that bill. Uh, three bit man, fuck all that shit, man. Like, see that 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 all that right there just like I'm sweating. I'm sweating. So I don't even see how they be doing all of that. Like that's just, just too much. It's too much. It's just too much, man. I know when they get done streaming. I know when they get done streaming, they be having to take a shower or something. You know one of the, you know one of the things that weirded me out about uh about DJ like <laughs> it always weirded me out like and I had to like stop watching him man cuz I just couldn't figure it out and I don't know why I just didn't ask him cuz like I said I'm cool with DJ man like but like you ever notice how when he be playing this game or like when he live streaming or whatever whatnot, it don't look like his hands move like it kind of seemed like he has recorded a video and it's just sitting there talking to everybody while, you know, the video is just playing. Because I have never seen that man's hands. Like, I I mean, I know he got a controller and stuff sitting right there. But you just never see it. It's like his hands is always like this. And he be swinging around in the chair. Like, hey, that just, man, it just weirded me out. And I was just like, man, is this dude, like, do he got some kind of, like, what, he got like a ghost controller or something like how the hell is he playing the game and he not moving or like that like it was weird this shit was weird <laughs> raging gaming in the building that's the man right there that's that's how i got uh that's pretty much how i got monetized that's funny that you came in here i would i was just uh i was just like in deep stride of talking about like how my channel got to where you know what i'm saying like where it is now like uh raging i think out of all the youtube i think raging sent the majority of people or you know i don't, don't want to say the majority of people but he definitely sent a, a boatload of people like when they started changing up the criteria of youtube like you know and they kept oh man i had already made a thousand and then all of a sudden that i mean i'd already made 500 then all of a sudden it went to a thousand, you know what I'm saying? And then so on and so on and so forth. Now, actually, I think it was like 250 at first. Then it went to 500 and then it went to a thousand, I think. Paranormal Gaming, man, what's good with you, bro? Oh, you did? Yeah, that's right, you sure did. So sure did, but yeah, like when I needed, when I needed it, when that, like when I needed the subscribers, like to stay monetized. Yeah, man, like my channel was blowing the fuck up. <clears throat> Roderick Collins, man, what's good with you, my G? How you feeling, bro? Long time no see, homie. What you up to, raging man? Y'all make sure y'all sm don't forget to smash that like button for your homie, man. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, like YouTubers trying to keep the integrity of YouTube so that people like us just can't go out and put out content and, you know, make decent money. So they want you constantly doing something, you know, it's kind of like, oh, shoot, I ain't going to be able to get in here. It's kind of like the industry almost. <clears throat> Like, you know, if you want to be famous, you got to do something weird, you know, like maybe put on a dress. <laughs> I 
and it's kind of but you know i ain't gonna say youtube is that serious but you know it kind of is though like it kind of is <clears throat> But the good thing is, is that everything gets, you know, everything gets old. Everybody get old. It's a, it's a pro and a kind of this, you know, glad to say that, you know, eventually a lot of those YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, that just be hogging up all of the YouTube, <laughs> all of the YouTube fans. <laughs> Eventually they'll get old and they'll die. The bad part is, is you you probably will too. <laughs> so you know, and there'll be another upcoming YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Like taking their spot. All right, so we got all of my silage bales up and off of the field, man. Now we all we got to do is get all of these grass bales up. Oh, I don't know why I made all these grass bales. Yeah. I got to take a break. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you aren't constant on YouTube, your channel gets lost. Yeah. And I mean, I don't even think it's a constant thing. I think the more persistent you be on YouTube, the more they be like, like it's man, it's a weird, it's a weird type of uh, gamble, y'all. Y'all give me a second, real quick, man. I just want to take a small little break and stand up, stretch my legs for a minute. But uh, I don't even think it's like the consistency, man. Cause you know me, raging. Listen, I came into the game YouTube, and and I can guarantee you, I put in more hours than than the average regular you know what i'm saying like regular youtuber that was probably like myself i was doing numbers like you know like when i say numbers like just hourly numbers you know what i'm saying on youtube it didn't gain me it got me the subscribers that i got but it didn't like you know i felt like i should at least be at five thousand right now the way that i was youtubing and that's why i don't leave i just want uh like, I don't stream like that no more because that shit didn't get me shit. Like, it didn't get me nothing. You know what I'm saying? If anything, all it did was get me watch hours. It got me watch hours. And like I said, you know, you might pick up some some straggling, you know what I'm saying, uh, subscribers here and there, you know, just because you live and ain't nobody else live. But nobody's actually coming to solely, you know what I'm saying, like, see your channel. You know what I mean? Except for the people that's already there. Like, all of the people that's in here now, like... They're all the people that actually, like, they've been here for a while. People, you know, they might be gone for a little while, but, you know, they'll eventually come back, you know what I'm saying, and say what's up or whatever or whatnot. But it's all, like, kind of like the same recycling and regenerating people. I get more people that might hit the subscribe button on my channel just because they either just want to support the channel. They might not even watch the video. You know what I mean? Like, they might have even watched the live stream. They might just come through and hit the subscribe button just because, you know. They might hear me say something funny. Because, you know, y'all know I got a lot of streams. Like, that's, like, where I be talking some shit, boy. I got some streams. I got some streams that'll knock your goddamn socks off. <laughs> and I need to actually go through my channel and, like, rename all of them. Because I know that that's another part of YouTube, too. Like, I don't ever really go through my channel. My channel's sloppy as hell. Like, you know, and that's another reason why I don't get the recognition from uh, people. Because when they come to my channel, it's not like I have it set up for them to be able to go see this or that or whatever, whatnot. You know, if they want all farm sim or if they want all American truck sim, it's like my shit is everywhere. So it's unorganized, you know what I mean? And for a lot of, you know, I guess weird ass OCD people or weird ass people who feel like, you know, people that be like, stop typing in all caps. It hurts my eyes. It makes me feel like you're yelling at me. It's like, motherfucker, man, shut the... F uh, you know, I I get it, but I don't get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, they just letters. They just big letters and little letters. Like, in, that, in, 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 in all of history, ain't nobody ever told you that just because you write something big, that means you yelling and you screaming at somebody. 
But motherfuckers will say that goofy ass shit. Oh, oh, it strained my, it strained my ass bone just to see that big old H sitting up there. And then you had a big old O sitting up there next to it. And then I've seen a big W. I couldn't even read the word, man. Like, stop tapping on caps. Like, I heard a streamer say that, like, and I'm talking about he got on the dude, too. He was like, he was like, don't type on all caps on my stream. And I was just like, motherfucker, is, you, is this nigga serious, man? Like, he's serious, serious about some capital letters? Bro. Mm, I hate to see what, I hate to see what it's like when somebody fart around him. Because, like, yo, like, you that serious over some goddamn letters, bro? Whatever. Matter of fact, you know what? Cause I just worked myself up real quick. Just give me, give me a minute and a half real quick, y'all. Just give me a minute and a half, cause I got the blueberry up real, real quick. Vern, <laughs> sensitive ass people. I know, right? I know, right? I'm telling you, man. Like, and you know, like a lot of people, a lot of people fuck with my, like, fuck with me, like. Because, I mean, I be keeping it real, bro. I mean, like I said, I know I be bullshitting around sometimes. And I know I might be just a little bit on the on the edgy side sometimes. I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm a motherfucker. Like, I'm not perfect. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, like, I feel like that I, I just, I can't do nothing but keep it real about certain shit. And the world don't want you to keep it real. The world don't want you to keep it real. TJ, what's good with you, my G? Blueberry time. You better know it. You better know it, C-Dub. <laughs> yeah, everybody say blueberries. Come on now, say it with your chest. I don't want to hear no blueberries. Come on now, blueberries. You got to be seductive when you're talking about blueberries. <laughs> JB Agri, man, how you feeling, bro? How you feeling, my G? I'm just taking a little, taking a little blueberry break, stretching my legs, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some fucking face behind it. Come on, get your berry white on. B -b 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 blue. <laughs> All right, man. Oh shoot. Man, y'all make y'all make sure y'all get through the chat, man, and hit that like button and that subscribe button for somebody in the chat, man. Show your support. Like I said, you might not like what you see over here at Doggers Fifty One Fifty channel, but I guarantee you, somebody out there that a that a uh. You know, tune you up. I was going to say float your boat, but I hate saying shit like that. Float your boat just sounds so, so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever floats your boat. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Who even made that? Who even came up with that? Floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat. I don't even have a boat, motherfucker. Just like and sub, man. I appreciate it, JB. I appreciate it, man. I ain't mean. I don't mean to be boring and just sitting here, man. But I've been streaming. I just got done streaming American Truck Simulator, and yeah, my butt hurt. My butt hurts. <laughs> And plus it's blue plus it's blueberry time. I appreciate everybody, man, for coming out, man, and uh and showing your boys some support. But it'll really it'll really float my boat, you know, if y'all go through the chat, man, and hit that subscribe button for you know for somebody in the chat, show your support to one of them. I'm I'm at like seventeen I'm at like seventeen hundred subscribers, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get everybody that come through my chat, you know what I'm saying, up to a thousand too. Or, you know, at least better than what they did yesterday. So if I can get everybody to go through, man, and show some support to somebody, man, I would greatly appreciate it. 
greatly. Alright, let's get out here and finish picking up these bales. Oh shoot, I was right in front of a bale. It was, still, it was still some more in there. Hey, <coughs> <coughs> right, dog, if you ain't gonna pick nothing up, if you don't let the dang on fork now. Alright, so I got to figure out exactly what I, what I can do with all of these bills. I know I'm gonna have to wrap some. I know I'm gonna have to wrap some more. Cause I think the uh, I think the grass bills, I think they die after. I mean, like they rot after a while. So I'm gonna have to find something to do with these grass bills ASAP. Yeah, the season, the seasons mod don't allow you to sell grass. I think I can sell the bales though. I think I just can't sell loose grass. I'm not sure. Sound like that sound like it'll pretty, be pretty cool. <clears throat> A lawn mowing simulator. Hmm. Oh, I wonder how that would work. Said you can't wait. It look pretty good. I'm gonna have to check it out, man. What is, is it on? It's coming out on Steam. Yeah, man. They used to have long contracts, uh, Vernon. I usually just wrap those grass bills in seasons. Sometimes three days. I said it. Yeah, man, I be, you know, I be trying to stay busy, uh, six. I be trying to stay busy, so, like, I usually, like, when I get bales, like, I'll try to make silage, you know, like, make a whole bunch of silage so I can, you know, feed cows. That's what I'm getting ready to do with these bales now. Like, I'm going to make as much silage as I think that I need, you know, hopefully probably about a good, a good 500,000 liters, maybe. Or more, and uh, I'm gonna buy me some cows, and I'm just gonna stockpile the uh, the silage and whatever I don't, you know, whatever I don't make in a day, I'm just gonna sell. So like once I get once those uh, once those um, silage bales ferment, once they ferment, I'm going to. Right 
once they ferment, I'm going to uh, be able to make some silage. I mean, some uh, TMR. I keep saying silage. But I'll be able to make some TMR. And like I said, whatever I don't use with it for TMR, I'm just going to sell the rest. You said, when am I driving to Peterbilt? <laughs> I ain't got no Peter built to drive. Oh look, 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 it's about to fall. It's about to fall. Yeah, it looks like it's about to fall. Yeah, stay there for it. You talking about that uh that J Rip the J Rail? <clears throat> what is that? Uh, the five seven nine, I think it is. I thought I drove it already. I don't know. I might do another. Uh, oh, the three eighty nine. I ain't got no. I don't have a three eighty nine. You know I don't drive Peterbilt's, uh, boy. <coughs> Y'all made me cuss at you. <laughs> you know I don't drive no damn Peterbilt's. I don't know why. I don't know why you always ask me that. Like, what is it about? Like, what? What, <laughs> what is it about me driving a Peterbilt that make you want to keep asking me to drive a Peterbilt? <laughs> Why you want to see another man drive his Peter? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. It just sounded a little suspect to me. That's all. You know what I mean? I mean, somebody else let me know, man. Don't don't that sound a little suspect? The, the man, the, yo, I, I'm trying to stay away from him and anything that got anything to do with Peter. But every time I see this man, he like, when you gonna drive your Peter? When you gonna drive your Peter? When you gonna drive your Peter? Bro, like, come on, man, like. <laughs> you starting to make me, you, listen, you starting to make me think. I'm glad this is all on YouTube because, like, you know, I be, I be done had to jack you up, bro, like, in real life. <laughs> Coming around me talking about when you gonna drive your Peter. <laughs> drive your own damn Peter. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> I drive I drive Kenworths, man. Kenworths. It ain't nothing funny about no Kenworth. It's just a Kenworth. It's just I mean, you know, Ken Ken thought he was making something that was worth something. I just can't drive something that Peter just built. He just, I mean, like, who the hell is Peter, first of all? <laughs> I mean, I don't know who Ken is, but I can guarantee you. I can guarantee you. The Kenworth is worth it. The Peter built. Peter just built it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I look, I'm gonna say this one more time because I always I always tell y'all why I don't drive Peter Bills. I like Peter Bills. I like Peter Bills uh truck, but like I said when ATS first came out, man, the Peter Bills sounded like it had tissue running through the gas lines. Like it just didn't sound like it was quiet, man. Like it was just so quiet you couldn't you could barely hear the engine. Like I just never, you know what I'm saying? Like I never liked, I never liked it sounding like that. Like I didn't heard plenty of Peter Bills that you know got nice roaring engines. And I mean, you know, the W900 engine sound fine. I mean, it wasn't the best, but the W100, the W900 engine sound cool. But the Peter Bill, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man, but I'm just telling you, like, man, when something, man, listen, 
when something give me a bad taste in my mouth, I'm not eating it again. I'm just not that type of person. Like, you know, it's some people out there that be like, you know, I don't try it again. Like, hell no, no. That's like chitlins. Once they told me that chitlins was pig booty, I ain't eating that shit. I, I wasn't eating it to begin with because it stink. That's first and foremost. Like, it stink. I'm not, you know, but I was willing to taste it because you know how people, you know how when you a kid, Grown-ups have an effect on you. Oh, boy, you always, you always talking about you don't like something. You ain't even tried it. And, you know, you get sick of hearing that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be like, oh, you know, I don't want to hear him talking about shit now. And I tasted it, and it tasted exactly how the fuck it smelled. Like ass. And I wasn't eating that shit no more. And there's other people out here that be like, you know, yeah, I eat the ass again. Like, I just ain't one of them type of people, man. So when the Peter Bill pissed me off, I was like, well, <laughs> ain't got to worry about that. Ain't got to worry about Peter pissing me off no more. <laughs> I'm a leaver. <laughs> I'm a leaver. <laughs> Clean him up good. See, look. See, listen to this. See, see you. Y'all hear this? Y'all hear this? He said that shit, not me. I, I don't. Hey, listen. You know, I'm gonna act like I didn't even see that. I'm going to act like I didn't see that shit. Like, <laughs> see, that's the reason why the world fucked up, Six. That right there. Because of statements like that right there. Clean them up good and they taste like chicken. My man. My man. Chicken is chicken. Come on, I mean, like, you got to agree. Chicken is chicken. Ass is ass. It ain't no way you going to make no ass taste like chicken. Like, it ain't going to happen. It's impossible, bro. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> now, under the under the the under the duress and only duress, would I feel like a man or any kind of human would eat pig's butt or any butt, for that matter. So we all understand, you know, like if you get hungry, you will eat a, you will eat just about anything. So under that understanding and that understanding only, will I accept the fact that people eat animal ass? But I'm, I do not agree with it. I, it's all type of other stuff you can eat. You can eat berries, bugs, grass, leaves, trees, bark. Uh, ant, I mean, you can eat all type of, you, bro. I mean, you got all that animal. He got legs. He got a neck. He got a nose. He got a snout. They got tongue. You can eat the tongue, and you gonna eat the ass of it? Ah, oh, man. Like I said, man. Like you know, I don't, I don't care what nobody say. Eating ass is wrong, bro. I don't care what type of ass it is. Like, and that's just wrong. That's wrong. It's wrong. You might well just eat shit. He might well just eat doodle if you're gonna eat butt. Hey, you know, different strokes for different folks. Like I said, you know, I ain't hating on nobody. I ain't hating on nobody at all. I ain't hating on nobody at all, man. I'm just trying to break down my philosophy of why, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't eat stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, back to the Peter Bill. <laughs> Before we get too deep off in in the <laughs> talking about eating <laughs> animal butt. <laughs> My friend's mom was from Georgia. She could make a rat's ass taste good. You know what? <clears throat> I'm from up north, and I got fam my, most of, like a lot of my family is from uh, Georgia. And I'm gonna be honest with you, we didn't cook no fucking chitlins in our house. Um, uh. We didn't cook no chitlins in our house. Like my my dad's mom didn't cook chitlins. Uh, my mom's mom didn't cook chitlins. So you know I don't know, man. Like you know, it's a definitely a, a like a you know 
Mason Dixon line type of thing, but but yeah, man, like that ain't that ain't nothing. You know, I had a discussion about that one day. Uh, my cousin was telling me he was like, he was like, you gotta think, cause like some of these people grew up on eating, you know, uh, chitlins and stuff like that. And you know, like when you know when you grow up eating something like it don't you, it, like no kid is really born with a taste bud. You know what I mean? No kid is really born with a taste bud. So you know you can be feeding a kid anything. You know what I mean? He's going to develop the taste bud. You know what I mean for it. So the fact that people grew up eating pigs, but you know, chitlins, whatever you want to call it, you know what I mean? Like, it don't really surprise me. It's just the fact that it's like, you know, well, now that you know, you know what I mean? It's like, now that you know, that's how, like how hard-headed, you know, the hum the actual human being is. Because a doctor would be like, hey, man, stop smoking. You know what I mean? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, quit smoking. And, you know, the human being would just keep on smoking because, you know, he can't stop it because he got a habit or whatever or not. It's like even though you know it might kill you, like I smoke, you know what I mean. So like even though you know it might kill you, it could just kill you, just like that tomorrow or in an hour or or anything. Just like anything could kill you. But when you talk about eating an animal's butt, just because you used to eating it, that's sad, man. That's that's sad. I mean that's just my opinion about it. I ain't saying I, I ain't saying I'm right, and I ain't saying I'm wrong. But you know, if you continue, if you continue to do the same thing over and over and over again, you know what I mean? Like knowing that you know what I mean that it's something like that kind of <laughs> that kind of make you a little a little stupid. Just a little bit, just a little bit, not a whole lot, like, you know, not dumb, just a little stupid, like. <laughs> you, that's just like saying, that's just like saying you woke up and you hit your toe on the corner of the dresser, right? So tomorrow, since you hit your toe on the, on the corner of the dresser yesterday, you're going to get up tomorrow and hit your toe on it again. You know why? Because it felt good, but it really hurt it, you know what I mean? <laughs> But you're going to do it again, and you're going to keep doing it. You're just going to keep hitting your toe, and then you're going to wonder why your goddamn pinky toe, why the doctor finna cut your pinky toe off now, because you just sat there and banged the motherfucker up on purpose. But that's the beauty That's the beauty of life, right? You get to do whatever you want to do to your own damn body. You get to do whatever it is that you want to do, and that's the, that's the, that's the beauty of eating chitlins and whatever else people do is you get to do whatever the hell you want to do so you know if you eat chitlins you know what i'm saying keep eating chitlins man don't let nobody stop your shine don't let nobody tell you you know you know you eat no no don't let nobody tell you you got a turd on your lip you know what i'm saying just because you like chitlin dip you know what i mean don't let them don't let them stop on your shine man you know go ahead and do your thing just don't offer me none. <laughs> Sim UK in the build, man. What's going on with you, G? King Trap in the build, man. What's going on, homie? My bad, man. Who else? Did I miss somebody? Ain't you know? I don't, I don't know. So man, what's up, man? Who got something? Who got something inter interesting to talk about? <clears throat> Somebody come up with some topics, man.
King Trap say chilling, chilling. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm at that, uh, you know, I ain't got no money, Z. I ain't, uh, I don't know how long you've been watching this little series that I've been doing on, uh, on this Seneca County, but I ain't got no money, man. That's the reason why, you know, like I said, I got all these bills because couldn't afford to do nothing else. I'm just trying to stay away from uh I'm trying to stay away from taking out loan taking out a loan because I didn't done I didn't done all of that you know what I mean like I didn't I didn't put 20 million dollars into the game and bought all of the uh expensive equipment and all that stuff I didn't done all that so I kind of just want to take my time and you know what I mean try to see if I can actually work a farm up, you know what I'm saying, from scratch. Architect, what's going on with you? What top options would I like to see in uh, the next FS gearboxes? Better physics, yeah. Okay, better draw distance. Oh, that's a dang man. Hold on, wait a minute. That's a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one. All of them. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely better physics. Like, and I'm talking about not just the tractors. I'm talking about physics as far as, you know, the dirt, the mud, the particles. You know what I mean? Like, I think uh, I think farm sim is like way past due for using, you know what I'm saying, like some of the textures and stuff that they use for, uh, you know, for the seeds and stuff like that. Like I said, you know, this is what I can say about uh, farm sim. I, uh, I really think that they need to go and talk to the dude who made cattle and crop. <laughs> Only because, like I said, like, you know, cattle and crops is not, I'm not going to say it's, it's not better than farm sim, but the reality of it, like, you know what I'm saying, the, the whole, you know, everything that you do, you know what I'm saying, in that game is like, you know, almost to the same extent of what you would do in real life. And farm sim don't offer that. One of the main things that I would like to see in uh, in Farm Sim is for them to implement the computer to work, like this right here. Look, see this this tractor don't even have a computer in it. But you know how like you know you know how they got the computer in the in the cab, but it's just a picture on it. Like it's just a picture on it. Like they should have uh, you know some kind of interaction with that computer. Like you can't even tell, like your feel, le your feel levels or nothing. Like you know what I mean. In most tractors, you know what I'm saying. Like they have a lot of that stuff set up in the newer tractors, especially. 
and we've never been able to do that in farm sim like you know actually get in and mess with the uh with the computer you know to set up whether it be to set up gps whether it be to set up you know what i'm saying like a certain you know a certain weight that you want you know what i mean like from out of a silo or you know that you want to put inside of a grain tipper and you know like i said and, and damage it's so much stuff man that you know what i'm saying like that would improve farm simulator but i know they're not gonna do it all at once you know what i mean if they're gonna do it at all you know what i mean it's like they all got they got their own you know set mind to what you know what they want to put in the game and i think a lot of that really lies behind the fact of you got you got so many different regions of farming like you know what i mean there's so many different regions of farming and different ways to farm is that they can't please everybody you know what I mean? And certain people are not, you know what I mean, so ecstatic about, you know, certain things. Like, uh, like for instance, I would like some of these simulation games to actually have, like, skidding tires. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should be able to lock the tires up and, you know, like, you know, like, because it happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, and some of these tractors, they don't have noise to, like, the tires or nothing like that. You know what I mean? When you, uh, you know, when you're hitting bumps, like, the trailers don't make no squeaking noises. It's, it's, like, a lot of stuff that they just can do to make the game a little bit more uh, immersive. I think that's the word that I'm, that I'm going to use for that, immersive. So, you know. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I try not to get my uh, try not to get my hopes up about what Farm Sim is gonna do or what they ain't gonna do because what I noticed out of all of my years of playing Farm Sim and I love Farm Sim like you know it's it's actually my favorite game like honestly and I don't even know why I'm saying that because I'm saying it because it's true but I don't know why it's my favorite game <laughs> like for real. When there's so many other games out here that's, you know, murdering farm stuff. But, uh, but since I love the game so much, you know what I mean? Like, it's not really giving me a reason to love it no more. Like, it's really just giving me all the reasons to find something else, you know what I'm saying? Like, something else to do. <laughs> You know, I don't, you know, I love Farm Sim so much that I buy, like, all of the DLCs when they come out. And I haven't even, you know, I bought the John Deere pack. I haven't even used it yet. I haven't used not one single piece in it. And it's another DLC I like that I bought. I've never played on that Ella Grant map, the uh, Farm Sim expansion. Uh, I ne I've never even touched it. I've never even opened it up. Not one time. <laughs> I just buy them to support the game, man, and you know what I'm saying, like in hopes that they would do a whole lot more, you know what I'm saying, than what it is that, the, you know what I'm saying, than, than what they're doing. But it just seems to me that Farm Sim is going to keep on smacking us with with the same things over, over and over again. Like it's 2020, man. How come we still got, how come it's still only soybeans, corn? Uh, sunflower seeds like that's the same thing that the first farm simulator had in it I mean okay I get it they should carry on and they should keep having that but what about all the other fruits and vegetables and stuff that you can grow in the ground like what about all of that stuff so it's just like you know like you just limited it all down to like just these one and it's like man I would give up the physics and you know everything else that i probably could ask for <coughs> just to have real uh just to have real seed usage to be able to uh to be able to uh have more seeds <laughs> to grow different plants I would give up a lot of the things that I feel like Farm Simulator needs just for that. 
because most of the times, you know what I mean, like that's what make a lot of the other mind maps, you know, get a lot more attention because, you know, sometimes when they got their own textures and their own, their own, uh, multi seeds and all that stuff. That's why Farm Sim 15, man, will always be forever the greatest farm simulator ever. I mean, I know some of y'all might disagree with that. And, you know, it's understandable. But explain to me why it's not. You know what I mean? Because I'll explain to you why I think Farm Sim 15 would be the greatest uh, farm sim that they came out with was because, uh, for one, Farm Sim 15 came out and introduced a whole different ball game when they came out with cutting trees down. There wasn't any game in the world that you can do lumber, like, you know, actually cut trees down and haul them off in, in a tree harvester or, you know I mean, haul them off in a fort or a nothing. Like, that's one thing. And two, it developed so many mods I mean, I'm talking about, man, great mods, you know what I mean, forgotten mods that they never even passed on to 17 or 19. You can get Farm Simulator 15 and you can do anything in Farm Sim 15. You can, you, man. You can't tell me that you that, that that Farm Sim 15 was not the oh look oh one of them fell when I pull off this one probably gonna fall too yeah man it had developed the farthest out of all the farm simulators man I think Farm Sim developed the farthest as far as you know mods as far as you know like the uh, what they introduced into the game like the new stuff that they introduced in the game because really like everything that they've done from there from that point is just work on graphics it took them i don't know how long to bring john deere into the game and you know it's a farm simulator so it's like you know you would have thought that john deere would have at least been one of the at least one of them like, you didn't have to have the 8R and all that stuff back then, but just to have, like, a 6R, and then next, you know, next year they give you the 8R or whatever, or not, like, that would have even been nice, but it's like, nah, man, like, waited years to get John Deere. And, like I said, you know, all that stuff, you know, all that, they got their reasons for why they couldn't get John Deere in the game and all that, but... I just don't see no reason as to why if modders can put different seeds into the game, why can't the people that make the game? I played on this one map, I can't even remember the name of it man, but the map was so small that I'm talking about like it was so small that it didn't have no fps drop in it like i don't care what you did on that map like yo F my fps would not drop on that map now it was super duper small and the feet like you know you didn't have a lot of feel like the fields were small as hell but just to like do everyday farming and come out and do a field or you know do all of your fields in one swipe you know see them plow them and do all that stuff in one one go like it was a decent uh it was a decent map it was just small, man, but, and it had all, like, it had all, all the seeds in it, carrots, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, man, it had all type of stuff in that map that you could uh, plant in the ground. So, you know, I don't know, man, I don't make, I don't make video games either. So I don't really I guess know why they don't why they do the stuff that they do. I don't know why they do the stuff that they do. 
why they give you half video games. <laughs> I was just talking about that, uh, I think it was earlier, yesterday and earlier, like, you know, a lot of people making video games now, and, you know, they be in beta for infinity. And, you know, most of them, like, a lot of them, they just keep making you promises and promises, oh, yeah, we're going to have this, we're going to have this, and then... You know, the game be well outside of its prime, like, you know, like, well outside of its, you know what I'm saying, like, longevity. And you'll still be waiting for updates. But, you know, like, all of the other games and everything else in the world be that moved on, man. And you, like, who just sits around and waits for somebody to update a game? Meanwhile, they didn't just got rich off of off of you for buying this game that they know damn well that they wasn't going to develop. They just got paid off of the hype. Now, some people bounce back from that, you know what I mean, and they come back with another game, a better game. Oh, why did I come all the way up here? There was a bed up here, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But, you know, some, some of them will come out with a better game. And I, I commend those uh, game makers that come out with a whole nother game. And, you know what I mean? And it's, you know, a thriller or whatever or not. Because at least they use the money for something good. But you got some people, man, that's been made games, man. And... <laughs> and I no plan on uh, updating that game no time soon. only really matters to PC players right what is draw distance how would you draw distance nah the draw draw distance is like you know you see how you see how when you looking over there I don't know if I don't know if the stream like a pick it up is good but this is what what the draw distance is right here like you see how I can see these trees from way over here nice and clean and clear but that's cuz I'm like I'm zoomed in let me let me look at something else you see the field back there you see the field back there how it's all blurred out and you can't see nothing, you can't make out. If it was something on that field, you wouldn't even be able to tell what it is. But like right here in front of me, you can see the grass just fine. And then you see the closer, the closer I get up here. Oh, shoot. Right. The closer I get to it, you see how the stuff is starting to, like you can tell what, what everything is, the grass and all of that. That's what that is. And you probably can't tell because it's going to be nighttime. And I need to go up here and go to, uh, I need to go up here and go to sleep real quick. Because we need some more daylight. But yeah, it's just as far as the eye can see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Cuz I know uh I know I know certain uh graphics cards got like, you know, bad rendering. Like, you know what I mean? And then some graphics cards got uh like my graphics card, like it's it's good it's good for things up close. Why am I up here in, at this computer? It's good for everything up close. Like the graphics in it is, you know, phenomenal as far as when you up close on something. But the further you get away from stuff with my graphics card, you know, like it 
actually like i said the draw distance and the the rendering is the rendering is cool like i said for whatever the draw distance is like you know what i mean if i can see it from right here see how like the walls on the building is flickering when i'm way back there but as soon as i get up on them you don't see no more flicker stuff like that like and in certain cars, you know, in some cars, they might have the same thing, like the lines on the wall, but it won't be as bad, you know what I'm saying, from so, like from a certain distance. But for me, you know what I'm saying, like when I'm way back there, like them bad boys is waving. But the closer I get to it, see, ain't, ain't no more waving. Everything is nice and pretty, like how it's supposed to be. I get pretty good uh I get pretty good draw distance and uh field of view. That's another that's another thing I think that play a role in the draw distance. But you know, like I said, I I ain't no computer whiz or no computer geek or nothing like that, so I don't know. I might not even be saying the right damn things to you. So you know what? I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let the pros handle this. Oh, trust me, I know how to stay in my lane. I might veer off a little bit sometimes, but I know how to stay in my lane. I'm just going to stay on in my lane. When you say my favorite maps, you mean mod maps or like in-game maps? Because, you know, for me, for me, my maps kind of make Farm Simulator at this point, in my opinion. And, uh, and one of my favorite maps, my favorite map, you said in 19? Ah, oh, man, like, I don't know. Like, because I like... I like some of the maps that's in 19, but I like them in other versions of Farm Simulator. You know what I mean? So it's kind of hard to say, like, which map I actually, you know what I mean? Like, like. but let me see here. Let me let me see. Uh, my favorite map. My favorite map in Farm Sim is Mills County. But somebody, they haven't uh, recreated Mills County for seasons or nothing like that. And they said that they probably won't be doing it either, so... You know, that kind of sucks for me. I wanted to do it myself, but I'm not. I know how to work. Like, I can do certain stuff, and certain stuff I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, you know, like, but like, as far as the map, when it comes to placing items, uh, putting roads and stuff like that in, like, you know, I can do all of that. Trees. Uh, I even got a couple of uh, uh, codes. That you can put in there you know like for planting trees and you know multiple gates and stuff like that you know snap to terrain type of stuff like i even know a little bit of that stuff but when it comes to like the xmls and you know like how things go inside the map i don't have no clue i can look at it and i can do something that i need to do but as far as like building it all up yeah i don't know not one i have no clue uh but Let's see. I'm trying to think of what my favorite map. One of my favorite maps. One of my favorite maps would have been uh, Lone Oak. I like Lone Oak. But like I said, that's a uh, that's a um, you know a, a older map that was in like all the farm sims almost. Um, a newer map that uh, that came out recently that I like was. Um, Lancy Boy, I like the Lancy Boys map a lot. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but I liked his map a lot. And there was somebody else that came out with a map. Who was the map? What, what was the dude that came out with the map that had the traffic tickets in it? That was that would probably be like my favorite map out of all like out of all the maps that came out in Farm Sim 19, cause that map man like he did a lot, 
<laughs> he did, he went a little overboard in that map. Like I think I don't think it's anybody that's like took it to that extent. You know what I mean? But I can't remember. Uh, yeah, but it's not it's not Stone Valley. It's the new one that he the the newer one that he came out with. Oxygen David, yeah, 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 Oxygen David, him. I can't remember what his map was called, though. Hold on, I'm about to go in here and go to sleep real quick so I can, so we can get some daylight. We need that. Is it going to let me go to sleep? Nope. We got to do something for at least like another hour or so. What can I do? Uh, what can I do? I guess Oh, you know what? That's what I need to do. I need to get a uh a telehandler. Is it real dark in the game for y'all? Can somebody let me know? Chellington, yeah, Chellington was a good one. Chellington was good. I don't know, man, because like I said, like a lot of like I'm I'm trying to remember the names of some of these muds, man. But, like, you know, when I get stuck on a map, like this map right here, this is one of my favorite maps, too. So, in all in all, my favorite maps, my favorite maps are the American maps. Only because, like I said, they they fit my, they fit my eyesight. You know what I mean? Like, they, like this map right here is based off of Ohio. I'm from Ohio. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know exactly where this farm is. I ain't never been to it, but I can tell you this. Mostly all the farms in Ohio going going pretty much be like this. Like, you know what I mean? Just like a long road. Some of them like they off of the highway, you know what I mean? So I don't know. It just fits me a whole lot better than the tight, you know, tightly squeezed in maps like, you know, uh, from the other maps from other uh, regions. Sandy Bay, yeah, Sandy Bay was, was real, was, yeah, yep. That would be the one. Austin, man, how you feeling, bro? Yeah, I know, it's a little, it's probably a lot more lit for y'all. Why is he walking so fast? It's probably a lot more lit for y'all than it is for me. Oh, you know what? I can speed the time up. I'm tripping. I forgot all about that. <laughs> there we go. We should be able to take a nap. Got to get realistic. It's dark up in this mud. Got to get realistic with it. Can't get in the bed without getting in the tub. And you can't get in the tub. You can't get in the tub without dropping a deuce. Y'all close your eyes. Oh, I shouldn't have ate them burritos. Oh, here come another one. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead and wipe that thing. Mm. Go ahead. Whew. Lord. Flush that toilet. I gotta get me some light bulbs, man. Hey, I ain't got no light up in this bar. Ain't no light bulb up in here. Oh well. We go ahead and flush that. Ooh, ooh, boy, that was a big one. Ooh, and it's all connected. Look at that. I let a whole one out, y'all. 
<laughs> don't you just love it when it stay all connected? Like, and it don't come out in little pieces? <laughs> Man, I need to stop. come out when they come out in whole pieces you use less toilet paper <laughs> don't let it break that mean you didn't clinch that mean you're gonna have some work to do <laughs> I quit <laughs> Gotta go down Gray Street. Alright, man. Take it easy. <laughs> Alright, man. We out the tub, bro. <sighs> Look, he said he had to go. He said, I ain't finna sit here and watch no another man take. I don't care if it is role playing. I ain't about to sit here <laughs> and watch you take no damn bath, man. <laughs> I'll holler at you tomorrow. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have stayed either for that. Like you know, <laughs> y'all just watched. Y'all just watched. Uh, <laughs> watch Douglas fifty one fifty farmer character take a boo boo. Y'all should feel. Y'all should feel bad. <laughs> All right, man. Let's lay down. <sighs> Whew! I need me some money so I can pay my light bill. So I can stop using my flashlight. <laughs> See, we broke, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. I pushed the wrong button. See, we broke, y'all. Look. We only got $69,000. $69,000 I got to pay. I got to pay $7,000 in mortgage and land. I'm broke. Well, well, you know, that's the life of, that's the life of a farmer. Go to sleep and dream of a better day. Enough of that shit. That shit. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get out of here. Got work to do. Ooh. I guess we going out. I guess we going farming naked because it ain't no dresses in here. I have yet to find this man clothes. <laughs> I think it's one of them things where, you know, he just walk outside and when he walk out, poof, you know, his clothes come on. Goddamn kids then left out and left the door open again. Okay, so we then fast forwarded to another day. Uh, let's go down here and see if any of our bells then either turn to hay or disappeared. I can't remember it. I know they sat out there. I know they sat out there for a full day already. And uh, I don't know. Ooh, it looked like a lot of them grass bills is gone. Oh, no, they still out here. Yeah, they still here. So they already starting to lose weight already. So, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna um, I'm probably gonna try to see if I can stack them all in here, 
and see if they like putting them in this little shelter uh work because this the shelter is season ready but i think you got to actually put them into like a actual storage but if i can fit if i can fit these these silage bales is going in there most definitely and that that's where they're gonna stay um well you know until i use them but the grass bales like i said they are already rotten it looked like they didn't already lost about seven seven hundred liters so they all look like they all around the same like three thousand thirty three hundred yeah all of them is like around thirty three hundred so i'm gonna uh let's see i'm gonna go see if i can find a telehandler Nope, I ain't gonna. Oh, look, they got this one right here, but I do not like this Manitou. It turned weird. They don't got nothing. They got this one for 60000 but that's gonna bust me. <laughs> I'm gonna be broke, broke, broke. That's all that, That's all they got. I can't use a skidler, a skidster. 60000 $64,000. My boys is up there too. I might be able to get away with using a front a front loader. Or if I have to buy a weight, that'll probably be the cheapest the cheapest way to go about this. And of course I don't got a front loader on my tractor. Ish posh. Ken Jones, man, what's good with you, homie? How you feeling, bro? You all good over there, my man. But I do appreciate everybody, man, that came out. That came out tonight. And chill with your homie. I ain't going nowhere. I'm still farming. I just just wanted to tell y'all I appreciate it. I see every, I see there's a lot of people leave. Well, a couple of people is leaving, so I appreciate y'all. Even if you ain't around to hear me say I appreciate y'all, I appreciate y'all. And if you just now getting here or you've been here for a little bit and you didn't smash that like button, man, please go ahead and smash the like button for your homie. I would appreciate it. I don't think it really, I don't, I don't think it really helped my channel out, <laughs> but, you know, it sure do look good, you know what I'm saying, to, to look and see that you got a, a decent, or halfway decent amount of subscri or subscribers that hit the like button, or people that just hit the like button in general. But either way it goes, you know. Whether the like button get hit or not, your boy gonna be here. <laughs> I'm gonna be here. Are you going Germany? Sanchez say time for brandy. I wish. I wish. I was gonna go to the liquor store, but I don't need to drink nothing, man. I need to. Matter of fact, I'm glad you said that because I got a big, nice cup of water right here, and all my ice melted. And I, I wasn't gonna drink it because all my ice melted. But I'm kind of like I'm kind of like on a water diet for real, for real. Cause I drink a lot of like I drink a lot of juices and you know I drink beer, but well, not beer. I drink ales, but it's all the same. Why won't they let me edit this tractor? You won't let me repair it for nothing. Definitely need to be 
repair. Uh, customize. Now I hope we can even get a front loader on here. Nope, unless. Ah oh, man, this track. I don't even got a front link. Front end linkage on here. I thought I had a front end link on here. Yeah, I gotta have a front end link on here. I could have swore I had, or maybe I didn't. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't. It didn't. It don't. All it got is the weight. Boy, this one cheap ass tractor. Do it even got a front loader? It don't even got a front loader. <sighs> Spoils of war. So no front, no front loader because I don't have. Let's go in here and see what I can do to improvise here. Uh, I know they got something in here that I can use. I don't see nothing in there. Oh, they're going to make it difficult. I only got $69,000 and I do not want to spend that $69,000. I don't want to spend it all. <laughs> uh, what can I use? Oh, well, we're just going to have to get, we're just going to have to buy that mug because it ain't nothing. I can't do nothing else but buy it. I wish this had a front loader. I mean, a. Uh, uh, all right. Well, let's get to hand. Let's just get to telehandling. I thought I had some more options of telehandlers in here, but I guess I don't. The John Deere is only sixty thousand, so I might end up just getting getting the John Deere. Yep, John Deere saved my life and saved me money. Alright, so I don't know for some reason I like communal tires on uh. on these but I'm gonna get some muds some mutters that's a nice looking tire right there multi-purpose yeah that look good that look real good y'all like that that look cool I think that look cool Sixty-one thousand, or should I just lease it? I don't know what y'all what y'all think, man. Somebody help me out. Somebody help me out with this. Should I lease it or should I buy it? If I buy it, it'll be mine. If I lease it, I can only use it for for three thousand dollars. I can use it for right now for what I need to do, and that's pretty much stack the bills. But then I'm gonna need it again when I want to take the bills out so I guess I might as well just buy it 
It's gonna benefit me in the long run, but I just don't know when it's gonna pay. Like when this buying this is gonna pay itself off. That's why I don't want to buy it, and I probably shouldn't buy it. Cause I can lease it. I can lease it now for six thousand. I can lease it again for six thousand. That's only. I mean, for three thousand. That's only three thousand dollars. I'm not even gonna have it for a whole day. And I can. That's only six thousand dollars. Or I can buy it. I think I'm just gonna. Everybody saying buy it. Y'all just trying to see me struggle. Yeah. <laughs> y'all ain't my friends for real. <laughs> ain't none of y'all got no damn telehandling. And then y'all sitting up here just telling me to tell me some buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Who gonna help me pay it off? Mm-hmm. Real quiet. Crickets. We gonna, I'm going to buy it. We're going to buy it. All right, man. I'm going to remember y'all said this. Y'all told me to do this. Oh, that hurt. We only got 10 Gs left, and we still got to get a uh, fork for this bad boy. Oh, let's see something. Do it got? Okay, I got a built-in weight on the back. Cool. Oh, I'm finna, I'm broke, broke. Oh, where's my favorite bell fork at? Ladies and gentlemen, a brand new telehandler. Sound like the price is right. Here's 50k. Ah! Man, you know what? I don't know if I don't know if typing it like that or just typing 50k's in the chat like I, <laughs> I don't know which one of them is worse. I like the uh, I like the sound of this. Here's two million. <laughs> Okay, thanks y'all, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let me go ahead and hop in my tractor. We're we'll going ahead and boogie to the house, and I'll put that right in my safe. Yeah, safe from everybody. So safe, so safe, you won't even see it. You ain't supposed to joke like that, Sanchez. At times like this, it's a pandemic, man. You down here joking, talking about. I thought, man, I was just about to. I was just about to go get on the airplane, man. About to go live my best life. I thought I was rich. Talking about some 50k. C 
see Dub talking about two million. Two million what? Two million? Two million excuses why you ain't got two million dollars to give me right now? <laughs> yeah, I bet you do got 50K, Chris. 50K, and the K stand for can't do it. <laughs> can't. I mean, I said can't do it. It's the, the K stand for can't. <laughs> mean like I can't give you 50K. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just joking with you. I'm joking like that, man. I thought I was rich. Cause I know y'all got that cocksucker money. Y'all out y'all got that money money out, out there. Y'all be trying to act like y'all ain't paid. I know y'all paid. You can't fool me. You be trying to fool me, but you can't. I know y'all rich. I gotta take this. Uh, I gotta take this little field spot out of here because it is. It is all kind of lopsided right here. a lot of bills who can count who can count all these bills I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna look at them and see who can count who can count all these bills I'm just gonna walk around them real quick and I'm talking about all of them every single last one of them All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look on this side one time. All right, how many bills is it? Who can get? Who can guess how many bills that is over there? Why y'all? Why if y'all if y'all decide to guess how many bills? I'm getting ready to take a blueberry break. I'm still gonna be sitting here, but I'm about to. I'm about to fire off. Austin, hey, I'm back. What's popping? Is is it balloons? <laughs> Uh, ain't nothing popping because you spelled popping wrong. <laughs> you said, what's popping? What's popping? <laughs> Whatever popping ain't popping. <laughs> you forgot a P. You can't pop without, <laughs> you can't pop, you can't be popping without no extra P, bro. C-Dub say 150. 150? Boy, where you get that number from? Boy, ain't no 150 bells out there. Sanchez said 170. Jesus, y'all up there with it. Anybody else? Anybody else want to take a guess? How many, bell, how many bells was in them stacks? Austin 900, Jesus. All right, let's go over here and look at them and see. Let's see who got, let's see who got the closest. 
5,000. <laughs> Dude said 5,000. All right, so it stacks. Stacks of six, y'all. Let's count these up. Uh, You see, I counted them. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I just counted them all. I just counted. I just counted all of them, and uh, uh, can y'all put y'all y'all want to put y'all numbers in again? Yeah, I let y'all put y'all numbers in. Y'all take because if you if you, you probably could have counted them when I counted them, but you can put y'all numbers in again. And we'll see who get the, we'll see who get the closest. Uh oh, where'd my blueberries go? I'm going to tell you a joke. Why did the car have no miles on it? Because you drove it in reverse. <laughs> C Dub say two sixty, and wrong. C Dub, you wrong. Austin, you wrong. Y'all way, y'all way off. Way off. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm definitely not gonna tell y'all what the answer is. <laughs> and this dude, Austin, what you? <laughs> What you playing? Price is right? This dude said six, 261. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to play on the price is right. Just go up a dollar. You could win. Okay. I was talking about getting a, uh, a front loader. I was talking about getting a front loader for the tractor. Man, I wouldn't have been able to reach up there and get them nails. You said 18 likes. I don't say 18 likes on my end. It say 14. Is it 18 likes for real? Damn. Thank you. Hold on, I got it. 
I hate grabbing these bales off these stacks. Hold on real quick. Ah, oh, come on, man. I knew that was gonna happen. I rocked it back too far. I rocked it back too far. I gotta slow my uh, sensitivity down on this. On the arm. They gotta wait for this thing. I think I'm gonna have to pick up four. I think I'm on. I think I'm gonna just do four at a time. We almost lost it. <laughs> I think I better just do four at a time. Yeah. Yeah, we just gonna do four.
Man, who's going on with this bear? That boy got a brick in it or I don't know how I'm gonna get this other one off. How did that bell keep getting so far in front of the other one? Let me just put him down. Yay!
struggling to pick them three bills up. This John, this John Deere a little bit bigger than that, uh, than that Manitou. It even like got a wider turning radius on it than, than the Manitou. We only gonna grab four bells at a time, man, cause grabbing three of them, grabbing three of them, we gonna be in trouble if I keep doing that. It's having trouble. Oh, that's not that much. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. I gotta have my. Uh, I wonder if they gotta wait for this.
Oh no no no! Get up off there. second look.
Oh man, my bad, everybody. My son cooked dinner in there. I was uh, making me some, making my plate before the food got cold. But we, we didn't have no water, so I had to run out to the garage and uh, grab a couple cases of water. My bad, y'all. I had to get that in my system real quick. Whew. Ah, I feel better already. Let me cut this off real fast. Whew. I'm going to go in here and see what we got. Oh, that was a little... I got to get you... I got to get used to that, uh... That telehandler. It's a little bit bigger than what I'm like. Bigger than the Manitou. It's a little bit wider, so it's hard to see over the top. But I like it, though. I still like it. Oh. All right. Oh, damn. Hold on. Hold on real quick. Shoot. I knew that was coming. Whew. I cut the camera off just in time. Whew. Boy, my sneezes. My sneezes be ugly. I think everybody sneezes be ugly. <laughs> but my sneezes be ugly. Plus, I just got done eating, so you know I got to get some more blueberry in me real quick. We about to get back to it, y'all. Hold up, wait a minute. <clears throat> oh, my controller on the ground. I'm like, why is he spinning around? You like that John Deere? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Hey, I got Xbox 360. Asking $15 will take 10 <laughs> Test before taking. 
I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's somebody looking for an Xbox. <laughs> Not me. I got an Xbox. I'm playing on it right now. <laughs> they say Microsoft make Xbox, Microsoft make PC. I got an Xbox. A big one. All right, man, let's get back to work, man. Break time is over. Officially. <clears throat> Break time is officially over. I think my uh, camera to my track IR is off a little bit. All right, let me snatch these four bells off from up here, and then that'll be. I forgot about this zoom in, uh, this zoom in feature, but with the track IR, it ain't really all that, all that cool because I gotta hold my neck up. Trying to fall off. Had to set him straight. little buster and fall on off. <clears throat> I know he don't I know he don't think he about to embarrass me on YouTube. <laughs> I know this bill don't think he about to embarrass me on YouTube. Let me go ahead and pluck him up out of there real quick. Can I do it? What are those bells back here doing? Why are they falling down?
show you how a pro do that. I gotta check I gotta check the uh check the source see if it's a wait for this uh, thing. Cause four bills. Four bills, man, I done picked up eight bills with this with a tell it happened before. But then again, that's that magnitude, that's this this one. I can't pick up four bills. Five dollars, five dollars these days ain't gonna get you what, but what a couple gallons. It's that. My man said he needs gas money. Fuck that. Don't look like we're gonna be fitting. Uh, don't look like we're gonna be fitting them grass bells in here.
Chris said he got 99 cents for you. <laughs> See, 90, 90 cent almost won't even get you a candy bar in some places. Maybe at the Dollar Tree.
<laughs> Exploded them bad boys. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, let me see if they got a wait in here for this thing. They got some uh they got some weights for uh they got some weights for these but I don't know if it'll fit on the giant on this giant deer. They do got weights though. For uh for the telehandler. I just don't think I got the mod in. You said did I get the case seater? Uh uh. Uh you know what I think I did. All this. Let's see if we can do this. Do this as quick as possible. Stubborn a little bit. I get him. I get him last. Come on, man. Goofball. Goofball bell. I should have stuck to doing it how I was going to do it the first time. Two by two by two.
I was trying to do to it. Yeah, so.
Yeah, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep them. I just didn't want them, like, I don't want them to get wet. So I was trying to, uh, trying to find a place to store them. Let me see if I can find, if I can find me a little cheap shit. Can I put it anywhere? Do I got any more room to put it anywhere? Maybe if I move my tractor. Probably get a move this tractor first. trying to fix hey, I gotta take this I gotta take this death pump out of here Your brother, your brother's still in there too? I mean, he's yeah. living. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
рука. Sell that belly. I might sell that. Uh, sell that. Um, that bell stacker because something ain't right about it. I like it. But... Oh come on, bro. supposed to move this bell shit up. Can't go that high. Look, this ain't a good bell shit. Well, at least not for this fork anyway.
Reaper is back. Almost put the hole in my silo. Stand there, do it.
Don't want to stay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Right yeah. Nice flip.
Have you messed around with potatoes? Yeah, I used to. I used to. But it's so it's so slow. Oh, come on, bro. Really? If I can pick all three of these bells up before they fall. Oh. 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 <laughs> Where the other bell go?
female sitting right on the edge. Oh, I knew they was gonna fall.
Yeah, yeah. I didn't down every uh, I didn't down every fruit in farm so I just don't mess around with them sugar beets, boy, because you will be there for decades. The potatoes is better, but them sugar beets. You know what I'm trying to tell you, them sugar beets something else. Keep on bumping into stuff. <laughs> I gotta slow down, man. I know I'm close to getting done, so I ain't driving this careful no more. <laughs> Just getting warmed up.
shoot. That boy got some. Don't go. Oh, oh. That'd have been nice if he would have run. What?
Whew. Man, that was a lot of bills. They just falling out of this one. I thought that this was going to be a lot bigger than this. You know what I mean? When I put it down, I seen how big it was, but I thought it would be a little bit. A little bit more accessible. So I don't know, man. What we doing? We gonna do some more farming? What? What y'all? What y'all wanna do? Oh damn! I got this is far. Come on. What y'all wanna do, man? We four hours. We four. We five hours. I don't know if there's nothing else that I can do. <laughs> I don't know if there's nothing else I can do. Yeah, these bells, these bells still rotting too. storage probably one of these uh, I think the global company got one Hmm. I thought I had some more bill sheets. Guess I just don't got. I must not have them installed. It's a lot of stuff I don't have installed. Jeez. There was some bill bars for square bills. This Agrar dude, this uh, ag agrize these mods. Every time I put one down, it only lets you put one down. It's be like you got too many pieces on the farm. So I don't know if you're supposed to play with these like all by themselves. I think you so. I think you are, or they made for a certain map or something.
Let's see what the weather going to be. Oh, man. What's the weather going to be like? Sunny all day. It's supposed to rain. It's going to rain pretty much all week. See, that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't want to cut that grass. to do on this farm. That's I have to do some more contracts or something. Let's see what they got up in here. Everybody trying to get everybody trying to get planted up. Oh, these some cheap these some cheap contracts and the cultivating even cheaper somebody got a grass field need bailing I got a more. I got a more. The question is, do I really feel like bailing up somebody else's <laughs> somebody else stuff after bailing all mine? I feel like that. Field number eighty. Oh, I used to live. I used to uh when I first started this map, I think I built my house on field number eighty. Should be right over here. Oh no, right over here. Down here. Yep, right there. Y'all remember when I built that house that was right here on uh, field number 80? Man, I missed that map, man. I, I set that map up real good. Cut on eighty, and I had to drive. I had to drive all the way over there with the mower and the wind roar. I don't got no bailer. I thought I had a bailer, but I don't have no bailer. I don't know. I think I'm gonna find me something else to play. I think I'm all farmed out. Five hours to do it for me, I guess. I want to do some more, but I can't think of what the hell to do. Besides contracts. And I know y'all don't want to see me driving around in circles. <laughs> hell, if I drive around another circle, I'll probably be and fell asleep. But... Anybody got any suggestions on the next video game? If not, I'm going to find something to play. I ain't tired, but I'm just tired of farming. <laughs> tired of farming. But I will holler at y'all in the next one, man. Y'all make sure y'all go through the chat and hit that like button, that subscribe button for somebody that you don't know. Show your support. And I'll holler at y'all later, dog.